Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. A'udhu billahi min shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salati wa salam ashraf al mursaleen. Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. Madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi Surah Kareem. Ya Habib al Azeem. InshaAllah the, the topic for this night was the Wi-Fi and the realities of the awrad. Wi-Fi and the realities of the awrad. InshaAllah ana abdukul ajeezu da'eefu miskeenu zalimu jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, we took a path of being nothing. And alhamdulillah reminder from myself that every technology is showing a deep reality and Allah allowing from malakut and what He gave to His Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin means these were the technologies that given to awliyaullah and those whom follow awliyaullah for guidance, for understanding, realities of the heavens. When it was allowed to be sent down to shayateen it became technology with izzatullah it has the, it has the per permission of Allah permission of Sayyidina Muhammad and the permission of Ulul Am. And for us to understand the immense importance of the awrad and doing our daily awrad which the life is filled with completing the small, doing that effectively until one day you can complete the greater task. But in the minds of people they want to find a greater task and say, oh well I'll stick to that but this, this must not, no, this is small. And for us the technology that we've described before is a signal coming. When we say, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi aliyun azeem that this hawla is a, is a no help and quwwa. There is no help and there is no ocean of power except in Allah and this reality that Allah is sending out from Atiyullah, Atiyya Rasul wa Ulul Amri Minkum and then Allah says, hold tight to the rope of Allah So it means there's an energy source that is coming out upon creation and there's an energy that is for all of creation. Then there are levels of energy that are coming out for guidance for this creation. And then Allah has then darajats and degrees of what He's going to guide and to what realities He's going to be guiding them. That's what we understand from Wi-Fi, that a heavenly emanation what they call tanzir or rahma that tanzir means it coming down, there's no up and there's no down for the earth but for us just to understand there's always a, a rahmah that dressing upon this earth and it signifies that from malakut the world of light is the power source for the world of form. Without that power and software this form and hardware doesn't work, the earth is just a big computer. Each of us are just devices upon that earth, their physicality. Without that energy coming and giving its coordinates this hardware doesn't function, its understandings are incomplete, nothing happens. This Wi-Fi brings a, a knowledges, information, video and even Wi-Fi power which they're getting to that. Right now we have to plug in eventually what Tesla was showing them from Malakut that this can be powered Wi-Fi, everything can be powered. But you need the correct device and understanding. So this energy and this qudra is flowing 
And we want to connect to energy, we want to connect to the fires, we want to connect to knowledges, we want to build ourself with these energies to defend ourself against every negativity. That's what we talked before that if you want to pray it's not in your hands. Hawla and quwwa has to be flowing to us from Allah for us to pray, to fast, just to do the basics. Then imagine we want to struggle and Ya Rabbi and Allah ask us in Qur'an, have you made the ascension, the ascent? That this dunya like a pyramid are you trying to climb up or you're just content that you accepted Islam? That's not the maqam of iman. You have to fight against yourself and bring the love of Prophet to love Prophet more than we love ourselves. Then there's maqam al-ihsan is every worshipness will be as if you see Allah And if you don't see Allah know that Allah is seeing you. So means then the ascension is to keep moving, keep moving higher. It requires access to these signals and the the awrad that been given by Naqshbandiya and the big shaykhs of Naqshbandiya, the inheritors of the silsila and the shajara, the tree, that is a, a Wi-Fi access code. And we put it in a, in a term for people to understand because they understand the importance now. Wherever they go they say, do you have a, a, a Wi-Fi passcode? Because my device has very limited data, means our, our normal connection is going to be very, li very limited. You use your connection to order pizza, think of Disneyland and maybe some basic understanding. That's not all a signal coming of what he's talking about hidayat and guidance. That's a signal of rahmah that just the whole of earth. Rabbul kafireen wa Rabbul mu'mineen, he feeds everyone Allah makes no discretion, no discrepancy. All his creation will receive these barakahs and these blessings, they're all eating. Not a, a, a creator which says, I'm not going to feed you if you don't worship me. Allah sends this rahmah upon everyone. But the ascension and the heavenly realities, not so simple and not so cheap. It's going to come as a Wi-Fi code. You're going to be given an awrad and that you do that awrad every day. And just like in dunya if you leave that awrad, you leave it for one day you're in 40 days of difficulty. Means what? You have a disconnect in your connection. And as soon as you have a disconnect and your Wi-Fi starts to go fuzzy everything stops working. It's not like you logged in one time, this is such a high encryption. There are places that you go and every day is a new code, high security places. It's not just one code and 10 years you can quit and come back and you have access to that code. It's continuously re-encrypting moment by moment, day by day, whatever their encryption policy is. And Allah say, you see how they have that? What do you think for my heavens? Your access to this fires and to this reality is an access code and you continuously put in your access code and it gives you and grants you access now to that fires and to that understanding that the shaykhs are broadcasting on that signal. When we leave that practice or say, I don't need to do it now, I don't need to, okay no problem but you're not connected. If you're not connected you're not receiving these downloads, you're not receiving these informations and your phone is continuously not in a situation to be trusted. And that's what they're teaching that if you want the ascension and you want to struggle against all these negativities and you want the knowledges but as a result of these knowledges many negative forces will be coming towards you and you require that Wi-Fi. So then can you imagine you come up a little bit and had they not had a discipline and they were not trained on a discipline they would just say, oh, I'm just going to leave it tomorrow. They raised you, you begin to leave 
Your access code means you have no Wi-Fi. Imagine you're out somewhere, you have no signal. You can't get to the next stop, you, you can't call for help, you can't do nothing. And all of a sudden you feel stranded with that device. Imagine you. When I give you access to an encryption code to raise you and to dress you and why? Because Allah is an ascension. This is not a code for every shaitan to log on to, it has to be encrypted. They understood encryption because of the heavenly kingdom because encryption is highest when through light. Light encryption is the highest form of security. They learn from Allah they learn from the heavens. So when people say, oh no there's no secrets, of course there's secrets, Allah's entire kingdom is safeguarded. Had it been an open access signal then we'll talk about those people who, op who openly operate on open access, right? So then we have to understand it's an encrypted signal and the encryption is continuous. For day we don't log in to the wazifa and the awrad that the shaykh and shaykh Nazim has given and that's why it's on the app. You go to the app, you print it out and you say, every day I'm never going to miss this. And if for some reason I'm sick and I miss it then inshaAllah Allah provide something and an angel or a barakah to make it for us. But we put it in such a way that we never miss that awrad. So that these fires, these lights, these emanations, these knowledges, all of these blessings are moving towards us. And we understand through that technology how much lights, how many powers, all of these realities are flowing through that awrad. When we understood the depth of that encryption and the importance of that awrad is an access to that. Then we understood how awliyaullah were given different codes by Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why the different turuqs they have different Wi-Fi access codes. So you have a code to our center and you go to UBC and say, well I have Shaykh Nojan's code, can I get in? Said, no, of course you can't, what kind of ridiculous question is that? Each one has their own code. So why we understand that for technology and people like baffled when it comes to the spiritual world? What are you talking about? Can I, can I do this wazifa and not this wazifa? You do whatever you want but your Wi-Fi is not going to work, no fire is going to be coming towards you, this emanation not reaching you, you're just, you're just skimming off the barakah and you think you achieve something because <laughs> there's so much barakah flowing from them you're, you're taking you know secondary third generation signals from people. No, but if you want the real signal and continuously reaching to you, you take then what Shaykh Nazim has brought from Shaykh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani. We put it upon the app, you recite that on a daily basis, make your heart to be connected. Ya Rabbi, that send this upgrade, send these faizes, send these lights upon my soul and dress me from these. And we do that and access code, you add it, you just subtract it, your access code is off. So once you log on, you're on. Then you do your zikrs, you do your practices, you do whatever you want and now you're connected to their web. And their web is a satellite web. No matter where you are on this earth that signal is reaching to you. And that's why it's so important for the student that wants to achieve, wants to fight negativity, wants to come against demons and come against bad desires. It's not as simple as just make a du'a for me, give me a salawat and it's finished. It's that you have to gain access to their encryption, you have to gain access to their fayas, you have to gain access to their internet and Wi-Fi signal. You live by that signal, you support that signal and as a result these fayas are dressing you and every mushkilat of negativity to be pushed away. Doesn't mean your testings won't stop by Allah but you're not under demonic attack which is completely the polar opposite. You're just under testing by Allah but the fires comes then understanding comes, the fires comes peace and tranquility. Although I walk through the valley of death I know that my Lord is with me. 
because you have a sakina within the heart then Allah is testing, it's not a problem. But when you don't feel a connection and you got no Wi-Fi and you're in the midst of a calamity of course you panic and that's why people panic, oh this shaitans are attacking me, this is attacking me, this is happening bad in my life. Yeah you have no sikh, where are you operating from? Understood? That's the Wi-Fi, that's the importance of the awrad. Now those who operate with no encryption code. You know the danger of that, you go into a, a Starbucks or to a facility and you just use their free Wi-Fi. You've been warned by security experts, anytime you go into a free network, well there's all sorts of people hacking on that network. You go onto a free network, there's somebody in that facility probably sitting down accessing your phone, your <laughs> information because it's open. It's not encrypted, a non-encrypted network has the danger of hackers. That's why then in spirituality there has to be a discipline, there has to be this whole system. Say, oh I met a shaykh, we don't have an awrad, we, we just, he just, I think he made up some things, recite this, recite this, recite this and that, oh you're on an open access network, that's dangerous because there's hackers on that. You're just sort of connecting onto some sort of a signal that maybe their jinn are sending, their negativities are sending. There was one who would go around and say, oh he does this and this and this, he was re reading pharaonic verses and doing crazy things because it's a hack network. He's sending some sort of an energy so people may think there's something but it's open, no wazifas, no lineage, no encryption code. And as a result they're entering into the system and then going inside of people, messing up their device, messing up their heart, making, messing up their whole system within them. And that's what Allah is teaching us from technologies, that you don't think that your open platforms are safe, make sure that you use a secure network. And the reason that it's secured because something very precious is flowing through it. If it was cheap and easy for everyone it wouldn't be very precious. So these knowledges, these teachings are to draw people. So they distinguish the truth from falsehood. As a result when it hits and they feel that this is their calling then they begin the awrad and the daily wazifa, it's a Wi-Fi encryption code that gains access into their fires, gain access into their lights, their knowledges and that is hawla and quwwa. This is the help that Allah said when He said, Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum, you think Allah just gave to everybody that? Or He says, no from this reality of Ati Allah, Ati Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum is a habl. It's a rope of power coming and each are different ropes of power because everyone has a different destiny. Use their code, their encryption code and gain access to that fires. And that's the importance of the awrad and being firm with the practices of the awrad. And the reality inshaAllah, just a bit of the reality of the awrad connecting to the shaykhs inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa. وَبِسِيرَ سُورَةَ الْفَاتِحَةَ Click the link now to subscribe.